Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal, and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, is it a sin to support a form of government that denies people's right to property? One thing's for sure, if you're personally trying to deny someone their right to own property, that's a sin right there. The long and short of it is that in the end, some people still have possessions, but not the person you robbed of their rights. Therefore, this causes poverty by causing people to become impoverished. This is certainly stealing because you're using possessions to hurt people. The main forms of government that deny people the right to possess property are communism and socialism. These are very closely associated with each other, to the point of almost being one and the same. Distinctions between them are very subtle, so I'll mainly be addressing socialism, but all of these points apply to communism as well. In socialism, the idea is to fix the problems within society by setting up a group of individuals who have the job of collecting and redistributing the possessions of everyone else. This group manages not only possessions, but education systems, military forces, benefits, jobs, in fact everything. In the recent past, the popes of the Catholic Church have correctly predicted that this would lead inevitably to totalitarianism and atheism, which are horrible evils by themselves, but even if that didn't happen, you'd still be denying that people have any right to actually possess their own property which can't be violated by the government. This is why stealing is inherent to the very idea of socialism, and why participating in socialism in this way is also a form of stealing. You're robbing people of the right to own property by your own intentional choices. Lastly, what if you're not actually making socialist choices, but are just supporting a group that does? Well, in that case, you'd have to ask, how much are you cooperating with this evil? There are several ways to cooperate with evil. You either cooperate with it because you agree with the evil, in which case this is a horribly evil action called formal cooperation with evil, or you only cooperate for some other reason, which is called material cooperation with evil. Material cooperation can still be a sin, but it isn't always. For example, you're justified in working for an evil socialist company if you need to in order to feed your family. Next time, what's intellectual property? Does it have anything to do with stealing? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.